Hey guys, it's Jason here once again with Inkspit Designs. Another tutorial for you today. And this time I've got a, a requested video that uh, someone asked me to do at RC Winnipeg. Uh, emailed me and asked me to do this tutorial. I believe this is what he was asking for. So always always excited to do a a, a review or a, a tutorial for uh, one of the listeners, one of the one of the subscribers. So go ahead and follow this guy. His on Twitter he's at RC. Winnipeg, which is W-I-N-N-I-P-E-G. So really appreciate it. Keep those uh, emails coming and requested videos that you want to see uh, how to do. So today, this is a great. We're going to do a great tutorial on how to uh, work with vinyl decals inside of Illustrator, and specifically, there's some some magic that has to happen so that you can always make sure you know what you're going to get when you're cutting out these vinyl decals. So here on our screen, we have this uh, graphic here. It's kind of tribal graphic. And it looks great. Let's say we want to just cut it out in this black color. Everything's fine. But what if you want to take a graphic and you want to make it an, out, an outline of it and cut it out just the outline, just the, the thin or thick outline that you want around it. So what you want to do is take a, make a duplicate of this by holding down the Alt key and dragging down. Uh, you can hold the Shift key if you want just to keep it exactly aligned with the other one. And the second one, all we're going to do is pretty easy, as you might imagine. Um, we're going to go down here, and so now we've got a completely black fill with no stroke. If you look over here, we're going to swap these. We're going to give it a no fill and a stroke, and we're going to raise that stroke. Now, the thing to remember when you're working with, uh, with vinyl decals or, or designing to cut out a vinyl decal is that whatever you can see in the, uh, if you come up here to view and outline, whatever you can see in this outline mode, is exactly how it's going to cut when you send it to your cutting software uh, through Illustrator and actually cut out the decal. The actual uh, program, the way it translates it, it can only see uh, the actual actual vector paths. And so here, if we and the shortcut for this, you're going to use this a lot. So get this one in your minds. It's Control Y. Just keep going back and forth to see how it's actually going to look when you cut it out. So as we see it here. We've got a solid uh, decal, and we've got this one with this outline, but if we go into our outline mode, control Y, they look exactly the same. If we try to cut these out, they're going to cut out exactly the same. So how do we, how do we uh, fix that or make it what we want it to be? So the top one's fine. That's exactly how we want it to cut out a solid black, but this bottom one, we want it just to be an outline. So what we're going to do is select it, and you can see the path running through it uh, in that stroke. All we're going to do is come up here to the object uh, drop down menu and we're going to go to expand and my little dialog will the little dialog box will come up here and you see it has a check bar box under fill and stroke well we don't have a fill so we don't need to worry about that so we just want to expand the stroke in this case so we're going to hit that and as we do if I zoom in here on this path you can see no longer is there just one uh, path running through it you can actually see and where you can really see it if we back out a little bit is going into that outline mode and boom, there we go. We've got an actual outline running all around the decal, the same uh, graphic. And now we know, because we're looking in the outline mode, that as we cut it out, it's going to cut out, and we, and we can just weed out or, or take out that center part um, when it cuts. So we'll cut all along that, and we can just keep the outline. All right, so that's pretty simple um, as far as that goes. Now you got to translate this into other things. So let's say we're going to do this with uh, some text. Let's go ahead and open a new new document here. Uh, just keep it the same and let's get the type tool let's go with our company name Inkspit uh, let's enlarge it and let's we, now remember obviously when you're using working with uh, decals vinyl decals it can't be something too thin this would actually be alright if we were cutting it at a pretty decent size but let's change to uh, um, a font that's thicker uh, Let's go with impact. Uh, nice font here. As you can see, it's lowercase. Let's make that all uppercase by going into the character panel over here and hitting all caps. And we're going to create outlines. Right click on this and, and turn it all into an outline shape so we can work with it. And so there we go. Now, if we go in outline mode, we will see it's all ready to cut as a, a, a decal. But remember, we want to create outlines of this. So let's make an exact duplicate of it, drag it down. We can keep it in line if we would like. And do the same thing. Let's swap the, the fill and the stroke, bump up the stroke a little bit, a couple points. Now, as you see, things look kind of funky here. If we zoom in on this one, uh, 
here kind of at the the N and the K it kind of it strays off. You got some options here in the stroke panel if we come over here. Um, you got a round cap, uh, kind of a square cap, and as you see as I'm clicking on these, nothing's really changing. It's not really making an effect. Um, down here at the bottom we can align the stroke. It's it's defaulted onto the line to stroke to the center, but we can align it to the the inside of the the stroke or the outside and that obviously doesn't look very good unless you're like going for a certain kind of, of look um, and then outside it kind of bulks it up a little bit too much you don't have a lot of clearance between each of these letters and obviously we can adjust the the kerning and the tracking but um, there's another way to do this that I actually usually prefer and just go through and check the options and see what you like see um, see what you like I would actually let's go ahead and just get rid of this and in this case I would just make a duplicate again of our of our graphic and I would make a, an exact copy like we've done in some of our other tutorials so control C and control B to paste it in back. If we go up here to the layers panel we'll see our um, our different layers here. So the one on top is the, is the one we're selecting. Let's just make these different colors so that make it easy to see. We're going to select the one below it and we're actually going to come up here to object path and then offset path and here we're going to click the preview button as we see we see that black peeking out from behind that that copy that we made and we can just go into our uh, offset point here and just hit the up arrow key a couple times hit it down until you like what you see and I don't know let's go with that that looks alright so here at this point I'm just going to turn the eyeball off for that that top layer, that red layer. And as we see, if I select all these, all different, you know, you can see the different paths inside of them. I'm going to come down here to the Pathfinder tool and click Unite, so it's all one complete, separate shape. And if we go down Outline mode, we can see that. Remember, keep going back and forth to that Outline mode, so you can see what what it's going to look like. Let's bring back that uh, top layer. And now, if I select the entire thing, and I come here back over here to Pathfinder tool, remember this Pathfinder tool is absolutely essential when you're working with uh, these vinyl decals. We're going to come to minus front and remember what's in front is that red uh, ink spit lettering. So we're going to click that and then boom we have uh, we have it cut out and then I think that looks a little bit better. I like the way that looks a little bit better. So we go to outline mode we can see we got our outlines and um, if you want to check yourself even more so what you can do is just take a uh, let's see, take a, a square here. Let's make it a different color. Let's make it a yellow. Let's drag it to the bottom of the stack. And as you see here, we're seeing through the graphic that we just cut out. And that's just one way of it helps you visualize a little bit better to see that it actually is going to cut out when you're cutting on your vinyl plotter. Alright, so there's some tips, tricks for you. Remember that outline mode, control Y, use that often. Go back and forth, and um, when you're making that outline, go go and use that um, the expand option and expand ex appearance because you need that when you're sending it to your vinyl your vinyl cutter. All right, that's it for me, guys. We'll talk to you later, and remember, email me, send me some tweets at Inkspit uh, with two T's, or hit us up on Facebook, same thing, Facebook.com/slash Inkspit with two T's. Or send me an email and we'll uh, get those tutorials done that you guys are asking for. Alright, I'm out.